still don't see why I can't just help you out, like, a little bit when you get busy in that. This buggy in there won't be any room for customers. Anyway, you should be making most of not having to work. Right, so you think looking after four babies and Joseph isn't work? I didn't mean that. You know, I do the school run before work, don't I? Well done. I still don't see why you can't just go back to baby, yo. You totally know why. Who cares what flaming Isabel... Imogen. ..and Veronica... Vanessa! Imogen and Vanessa! Who cares what they think? All right. All right, mate. Listen, you had a good time, they had a good time. Why should you all miss out because of the way they feel mean girls? Mean manx. Exactly. Come on, you're worrying way too much. Just give it another go, eh? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Jeff, Jeff, please, please, call me. Well, Roy was in a pickle, so here I am. And Tracy doesn't mind? <laughs> well, let's just say understanding and cooperation aren't two of Tracy's obvious qualities. <laughs> Whereas bribery, she wanted you to pay her. Full English, two frothy coffees and a Belgian bun. <laughs> <laughs> you looked like you were having a good time last night in the Rovers. Yes, it was good. <laughs> Please don't think I'm trying to pry. Pry? Be nosy. But it, it must be hard for you, living with Seb and Emma, now that they're together, as a couple. I'm pleased for them. Me and Seb were just friends. Forgive me, it didn't look like that last night. I'm only mentioning it because I'm fearful that one or other of you are going to get hurt. And believe me, I have known love and I have known heartbreak. But that won't happen. All I'm saying is, please tread carefully where Seb is concerned. Emma. Sorry, I, I forgot. <laughs> I had a brew before I realised I'd run out of Gary Baldy's. Steve normally keeps a secret stash somewhere. What do you want? Oh, I wondered if you'd heard from your father. Not since yesterday, why? He left his phone at home. That's probably why I've not heard from him. Oh, yes, of course. Ah, there we are. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I, I just didn't want him to worry that he'd lost it. He's probably at home now, so I'd better go. Not had another row, have you? No, of course not. You better drink your tea before it gets cold. Bye. Anything I can help with? Well, I don't know. Can you tell me if Shona's going to read another magazine again? I mean, common sense tells me I should just cancel them, but I don't know. Is, is that like me saying goodbye to that Shona? You don't want to worry about things like that. Just renew them. I know, but what's the point, Mum? She doesn't even remember who I am, so she's not going to be able to remember who was doing what to who on whatever trash TV she was watching before everything happened. You can't make decisions like that for her, no matter how trivial they seem. Well, I can't do anything else, can I, considering she won't see me? Well, then you'll just have to go and try again, won't you? Talk to the doctors. Why? Because the only failure is never to have tried. Yeah, I never get bored of your fortune cookie wisdom malarkey. And hey, Mum, it was you who was telling me that I can't do everything, so... You can't give up on her completely, though, can you? You have to try again. I have tried. 
try harder. Hiya. You all right? Did you get my text? Um, yeah. Thanks. We feel really bad that we left you out. Like I say, it was just a last minute thing. We know how hard it is having the four of them. It's fine. No, it's not. I, we feel really bad that you thought we were excluding you. I know I'd hate it if it were me. And all of this is hard enough without. Anyway, I just wanted to say sorry. Cheers. And if you're not doing anything later, we're coming back for a bit of lunch. You know, if you fancy it. Oh, well, um... Three hands will make it lighter work. You might even manage to get a spoonful while it's still hot. Um, I'll see. Cheers. One o'clock. You know, it's not a romance romance, though, is it? Of course it's a romance romance. What do you mean it's not a romance romance? I thought it was more about companionship at their age. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we don't even know if she managed to meet him, do we? Uh, did you say uh, yes or no to mustard? I might be old, but I'm not deaf. Tyrone was just wondering if you, uh, if you managed to meet up with Arthur yesterday. Oh, Tyrone was, was he? Well, it's none of Tyrone's business. It's none of yours, actually, either. What, so you didn't? Well, you are, um, how do I put this? An acquired taste, I suppose. Is that your idea of being diplomatic, is it? For your information, Arthur has very good taste. And, uh, yes, of course, we did meet up, so... <clears throat> and just so as you're fully briefed, he has asked me to have a drink with him at the Rover's return tonight. Yes, it's a pity, really, that you're barred, isn't it? Otherwise, you could have come with me. To be honest, it's worse when everyone comes around trying to help with them. I mean, if they're offering to make us a fry up or clean the bog, that'd be different. Have a drink. You deserve it. I feel bad, though, I didn't bring anything. I didn't know we were going to be drinking. Don't worry, I treat. Right, well, hold on to your hats, girls. I'm gassy out the best of times. <laughs> <laughs> well, cheers. Mm. Hi. Yeah, is that Sergeant Thompson? Yeah, I was just calling to see if there's an update on the Claire's Law request I made. His name's Jeffrey Metcalf. Who's that? Sorry, I'm going to have to call you back. The police. About what? About your husband. My gran, and I'm worried about you. I just want them to find out who he really is. You're not responsible for me. Okay, so if Dad was still here or Z, do you think they'd really stand it's around and let this happen? It's my business. My marriage. And what do you think Jeff's going to say when he finds out you've been to the police? I think the very fact that you're scared that I you might kick off. I am not scared. I'm concerned that my husband will be hurt and angry, that his wife's family harbor such awful suspicions. Well, I'm not going to apologize. And I am not going to go along with whatever it is you're trying to prove. So did you ask him about being charged? I did, regretfully. Regretfully? Why, why is it that you're always so quick to think the worst? To ruin any chance I might have of happiness? Uh, wait, hang on a second. How am I suddenly the bad guy? He's the one charged with a fray. Yes, because his girlfriend attacked him. Oh, unbelievable. Don't fall for his pack of lies. Why can't you see that he's a violent bully? I, I, I seem to recall that your judgment was not too reliable where men are concerned. What? It was your ex who raped David Platt, was it not? Hmm? And as for believing my husband, all charges against him were dropped. But 
because of you, he now thinks I betrayed him and he would be right. Oh, open your eyes, Gran. Oh, enough. <sighs> Jeff never attempted to hide the fact that he was charged. He explained the circumstances to me and I believed him. Rather than me. Oh, Alia, please don't make me choose. You're my granddaughter, I love you. But if you insist on trying to ruin my marriage, then... You choose him. You'd actually choose him over me. So, the other night, I thought Ches was asleep, mm -hmm. so I was eating this chocolate bar underneath the covers. Well, you got the wrong idea. Uh, he thinks that I'm being all sexy. You having a bar of chocolate? Under the covers? Well, yeah. Uh, See, I'd already had one with my tea. Mm -hmm. And Ches is always saying that we need to be more healthy uh, now we've got these little ones. <laughs> oh, sounds lovely. Oh, he is. I mean, he bites his toenails with the best of them, but he's dead cute, like the way that he always shaves before we... Uh, so he's not all bristly. Mm. Not that with four babies there's any time for you. <laughs> Maybe you should have some <laughs> water. I'm going to be getting off, actually, in a minute. Well, I thought you said your, um, your partner would be here soon. Well, yeah, but he must have got tied up at work and he's only feeding in a bit. Oh, come on, this is fun. Another one for the road, yeah? Imogen. Oh, Vanessa will look after the other babies. Won't you? Cheers. <laughs> What are you doing here? Oh, I thought you might like something to eat. Why? Because it's dinner time. Oh, great. Thanks. Actually, um, I made it for David, but he didn't come back, so... Um, From where? Visiting Shona. Uh, well, it's good, isn't it? It's good. Who knows? You know, you should have got one of your girls to uh, get something from Roy's. Oh, we're a bit short-stuffed. It's not really their job, is it? Well... You know, if you are busy, I could always pop by at lunchtime with a little something and, and obviously, if there's anything else needs doing. Thanks. Nick, I'm bored. I know, I know, I know, but... Oh, for goodness sake, Nick. I'm offering to do a bit of admin work and bring you a butty. I mean, it's hardly a takeover bit, okay, is it? OK, 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 great, fine. It's just temporary till we find someone else, all right? Of course. Right, shall I put the kettle on? <sighs> oh, dear. What happened? Well, she wouldn't see me. Again. I'm sorry. Yeah. And get this, right? Apparently, a loving son's been in touch. So the doctor's told me they've been having little cosy chats. You kidding? Well, doesn't she know what you did to Kylie? Oh, well, yeah, I've told her. Obviously, she doesn't care. I mean, that's off to him. He's seen an opportunity and he's in. I'll put the kettle on. You all right? You seen our Gemma? Why, well, short of money, are we? Does she seem... I don't know. Gemma? Well, what do you think? Do you reckon she's all right or what? She's had quads. I think all right is a bit of a way off. I just wanted to make sure. Don't want to miss anything. Hey, look, you know what, kid? She's tough as old boots. She'll get the hang of it eventually. Yeah. Yeah, of course she will. Right, well, uh, see ya. Yeah. Hey, uh, do you fancy having your tea around our house later? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like that. Emma, of course he's not going to dump you. Why? What's he said? Nothing. I heard Mary talking to Alina about her and Seb, saying how she needs to tread carefully. Oh, well, it won't be the first time Mary's got the wrong end of the stick. And it was other stuff and all. Nah, Emma, I've got nothing to worry about. Seb's totally into you. <sighs> Is he, though? Uh, I'm just making do. Oh, problems with the young man. <sighs> That's just it. I don't even know if he is. Like, mine, I mean. Listen, you're gorgeous. And you're funny. You're kind. I think that's Seb's lucky to have you. Yeah, she's right. I just really, really like him. I don't want to lose him. 
Right, I best get going. I've got a client due now down the road. You've got a meeting with Claudia as well, oh, haven't you? Oh, yes. Oh, oh, well, I just popped in to see if I can book for first thing tomorrow. Uh, Ten o'clock? Yeah, 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 that's great, yeah. Uh, maybe I'll see you for a drink later. Uh, yeah. Relationships are complicated. Well, you know, if you really want him, then you need to fight for him. See you later. See ya. Mm. Maybe she was just being maternal. I mean, we can all change, even your mum. I asked her for a tea around the house as it goes. Really? Is that a mistake, yeah. Oh, no, 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 it's a good thing. Well, and if it's what you want. I kind of felt sorry for her. Just seemed like the right thing to do. Anyway, I better go. Mm. <laughs> See ya. The ladies at Stillwaters expect you to come to them. And a hair at home business could be an absolute gold mine. Do you know I find it a bit depressing, all them old people? Excuse me. It's an exclusive residence for 55s and over. Although, obviously, most are much older. And I suppose you've got a captive audience. My point exactly. Yeah. But that doesn't mean to say it's worth investing in a whole lot of new equipment, does it? <sighs> Two G&Ts, please, when you're ready, Jenny. Ah, oh, has he got you clearing up, then, Gil? For your information, I'm here in the office supervisory capacity. Right. Clearing up, then. Oh, mine's white, two sugars, Targale. Oh! Ooh. I think you'll find that she's here in an office supervisory capacity. Oh. Yeah. All right. Oh, hello. I just wanted to... You know, this morning in the cafe when you and Mary were talking... I'm sorry. Mary doesn't know what she's talking about. I promise there's nothing going on between me and Seb. And I believe you. But the point is whether you want there to be something going on, I mean. Why would you say that? Because if you do, I think I've got a right to know. And if it turns out he feels the same, then I'd sooner just walk away. Hey, Ma. Look, it's I... okay. I don't need an answer now. You should think about it. About what it is you want. Well, should you two be chatting? Oh, sorry, I'm just... See ya. Yeah, I mean, we, we call it a surgery, but more, it's really just a place for people to come and chat or ask advice or, you know, spiritual guidance sometimes. Oh, bit like a Friday night in this place. Mm. Johnny! Brownie's changing! Sorry, it won't be a tick. Can I have a word? If it's about the art part that you claimed was cold... No, it's not. Well, now you mention it. It was at room temperature because the time before you said it burned your tongue. If only. Which it did. But actually, since you ask, my query is totally unrelated to hot pops. Hallelujah! Mm, I wish to reserve a booth. Re... Uh, well, sorry, we don't actually reserve them. It's more like, you know, a, a first-come, first-served tactic. No, I'm sorry. No, that's not good enough. I've got a meeting in here uh, with, with a friend, and uh, I need to be assured of its availability. Well, like I, I've just explained. And I would have thought that after the hot pot day, Barclay, you'd only be too eager to make amends. Then there is, of course, the matter of health and safety. Mm -hmm. I can assure you. Fine. You can have a booth. Oh, that's very nice of you. I'll have that one. And uh, six o'clock, sharp. Have it clean as well, will you? Fine. Six o'clock. I'll look forward to it. That's lovely. Spiritual guidance, anyone? A male friend, is it? Do you know, I'm surprised you can eavesdrop that well with all that hair. No, it's a friend. A good friend. We're not all fast and loose like some. Oh. I didn't think it could be. You didn't? Well, it is actually a man. Well, how exciting. Anybody we know? No, I doubt it. No, it's just... Uh, just someone I used to step out with in the 60s. Darling, um, I don't quite know how to put this, but I am presuming that you don't want this man to know that time has stood still for you. 
wardrobe-wise and hair-wise. Yeah, what Claude is trying to say is that if you this need is... a zhuzh. I don't know what. A zhuzh. And believe me, there is nothing I love more than a challenge. Evie, my love, I would be so happy to give you a shampoo and set in the salon and maybe... Do... Forgive me, Aud. <laughs> How to put this? Audrey is the Tony Hart to my Michael Angelo. Is that right? And I know what I'd prefer if I had a special date and a man I wanted to impress. No offence, darling. Plus, I am offering you this service in the relative comfort of your own home. Do you do a pensioner's discount? Right then, three o'clock, sharp. Don't be late or I'm going out. Oh. Don't touch that. Away. Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> yeah. That's just if you want the order for Wilson's to go for first thing. Yeah, we're gonna have to work over. Fine, fine, fine. Mm. I can make sure they keep at it if you like. Yes, why don't you do that? You don't look happy. What did Imran say? It wasn't that. You see, the thing is, it's not a crime for a claim to see Shona. She is his mum. And uh, you're just going to have to make sure she has the full picture and knows exactly what he did. You know, you never cease to amaze me, Mum, of your knack of stating the bleeding obvious. I mean, you, she won't see me. Not get that through your fixed score. All right. Well, that's enough. You just have to wait till she will. Yeah, while he just fills her head with loads of lies. Well, shout at me if you want, but uh, what choice have you got? So is it you said Chesney does? Oh, we worked in the kebab shop. Oh. It's dead handy when you can't be bothered cooking. Oh, tell me about it. Actually, he's the manager. Oh. Well, we all want a man with prospects, don't we? You get to meet him in a bit. He's great. You might want to freshen up a little bit first. Oh, cheers. <laughs> yeah, but you just sold it. Oh, yeah, of course. Look at that. Can you imagine? Four kids. Oh, my God. I've been just about manager one, and you've got no pair. Well, and I should feel bad because she can't afford paid help. No, I didn't say well, that. to be honest, I don't think people like her should be allowed to have that many babies. I mean, look, she's clearly not that bright. I'm telling you, by the end of the year, social services will be on her Christmas card list. You know the trouble with people like you? You think you don't need an aerosol in the bog? Gemma, she didn't mean anything. And as for bringing up kids, right, you treat yours like a dressing-up doll. You, you won't change it. It's nappy in case your fake nails get mucky. And you, you've got white carpets. I mean, what kind of idiot are you? Oh, and I hope your husband and your old pair are going to be very happy together. <laughs> Could have been nasty. Yeah. Um, I just want to get home now. Yeah, well, just hang on a minute, would you? Have you been drinking? No. Of course not. Gemma, just wait there. Because you do realise it's an offence to be drunk in charge of an infant, let alone four of them. Please, please. 
Gemma, if you stop now, it's not going to be as bad. Gemma! I've already told you I need to take them home. I need to feed them. They're hungry. OK, well, please just stop. I can't! It's not a request. You need to stop. Look, I'm not being funny, but if you have been drinking... You're I've already in... told you, right? I haven't! Maybe she's saying something. What do you take me for? Hey, 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 what's going on? Who are you? I'm her mother. That's who. Right, maybe we could do this inside, yeah? I need to get them in. I need to feed them. I need to change Gemma, just them. calm down. Are they harassing you? We're concerned she might have been drinking. Look, how about you look after the babies and we'll go inside and we'll have a chat. Where have you been? Walking. Thinking. And it didn't occur to you that I'd be worried sick? Nope. Not after yesterday. In fact, I thought you might actually be relieved if I never came back. No, don't say that. You're my husband, my other half. How can I be? You don't trust me. Of course I trust you. Words are cheap. They're all I have, so you have to believe me when I say I love you and I trust you. Everything I do, I do for you. Every plan I make, I do it to make you happy. I know. Do you? Because you're behaving like you don't want to go to Cyprus, don't want us to start this new life together. <sighs> yeah, I thought so. Out in a tick. Oh. We needed milk. When I came back here, I thought that maybe me and Seb... I hoped that we could get back together. Right. But he found someone else. And so what if he hadn't? Who knows? It doesn't matter. The point is, he wasn't free. He was with you. You can't just turn your feelings off like that, though. Oh, please, Emma. Believe me when I'm saying I have no interest in Seb. None. You're my friend. You've been kinder to me than pretty much anyone else I've ever met. Why would I do something I know would hurt you? I need to go now. See you later. Yeah. I was with these mums from the baby yoga group. What? Not that Vanessa and Imogen? Oh, they're all right, pirate. I know. When we met at speed down for dinner, so I didn't think we'd be drinking, but then they brought booze with them and I wasn't going to have any. I swear I wasn't. So what? They kept filling up your glass, is that it? Right, they're these two posh cows. They live on Maudsley Street. They're all paved patio and brass knocker. <laughs> Before these lot, I would have drunk them both under the table. Yeah, well, she's not used to it, you see. Maybe the odd one here and All there. All the more reason not to have gone mad. You're lucky there wasn't an accident. If that driver hadn't reacted so I know. quickly... Hang on, hang I on, know. hang on, hang on. What driver? How about I meet you outside, yeah? Now, she'd do anything for them kiddies. Yeah, I know, and I know you're a good mum. Which is why we're going to leave it at this, OK? Thanks a lot, lad. I'll never do anything like this again, I promise. Good. I'll see you later. I'm sorry. I just wish you hadn't wasted my time, that's all. I'm sorry. sorry. Yes, you said. You knew how excited I was, and yet all the time you had no intention No, no, of... no, no, that, that's not true. It just seems so soon. We've only just got married and almost straight away. It's such a big decision. I feel we should take a bit more time, make sure it's what we really want, and if it is, then yes, let's do it. We have the rest of our lives together. Do we really need to be in such a rush? Can't we just talk it through? No, no, it's fine. 
My wishes obviously count for nothing round here, so... Please. I'm going to take a shower. Jeff, can't we discuss it? Jeff! You in here? Um, yes. All, all I wanted really was um, a blow dry and a few rollers. <laughs> oh, my dear Evelyn, I think it's going to take a little more than that, I'm afraid. Well, you of all people would be familiar with the term mutton dressed up as lamb. Well, on the other hand, we all know that time is a great healer, but not a great beautician. So, shall we get cracking? Just don't make me look like a pig in lipstick, all right? <clears throat> Darling, let's not run I before mean, we I can walk. All I want is a bit of powder and some nails. Shh, 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 shh. Before we go anywhere near makeup, we need to remove these whiskers. What whiskers? Ow! I think Brim might want feeding next. Give it to me. I can manage. Well, there's no shame in admitting it, you know, that you can't manage, I mean. Four kids. Defeat the best of us. Had a few drinks, all right. So what, now I'm some flaming alky man that can't look after her kids, is no, that it? No, 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 I'm just saying it's hard. Lord knows it was for me. When you and your brother were little, there were times yeah, when... Yeah, but I'm not you, all right? I'm a good mum. Yeah. Yeah, you are, but you need help. Cos I'm telling you, if you carry on like this, my girl, you'll be no good for these kiddies. And they need you. I nearly killed him. What are you talking about? A few more seconds and I'd have pushed him out under the wheels of a moving car. That's why the police was here. You what? Push the buggy into the road if he hadn't slammed his brakes on. Well, he was probably going too fast. It was my fault. I'd been drinking. I'm just so tired. I know. But even when they do sleep, a lot of the times I just lie there, too scared to close my eyes. But being awake, it's no better. I've just got all this stuff going round and round in my head. You're probably just overtired. It's like a nightmare, but I'm not even asleep. I just keep thinking about all the things that could happen to him. And when I do sleep, it's the same. Have you talked to Chesney? No. Oh, I'm not gonna. He's got enough on his plate working all the hours. Yeah, well, he needs to do his fair share. What's wrong with me? Other people can enjoy their kids. Why can't I? You will. It, it's just hard when they're so young. Yeah, but it's not this hard for other people. I'm going to say it's because there's four of them, because it's not them, it's me. I should be able to do this. Get Imogen's right, I don't deserve to be a mum. Come here. Come here, darling. Come here. <laughs> OK. So, when you're on a date... Oh, I do wish you'd stop calling it a date. It's the attention to detail that counts. Uh, yes, well, I only took five minutes to get ready for my own wedding, so this does feel a little bit excessive. You ready? Yes, yes, I'm very ready. There. Well, what do you think? I mean, obviously, the hair's a little bit thin, hence all the lacquer, but I think... Young Arthur is going to be blown away. <laughs> is this your idea of a joke, then? I beg your pardon? You made me look like a chihuahua in a wind tunnel. Could you just take some of this muck off? I certainly will well, not. Well, if, if you think I'm going to pay for this, you've got another thing coming. Look, it might seem excessive. You have to learn to inhabit this new body. And you will feel empowered, I promise you. Yeah, and I promise you that you'll feel my elbow in your face if you don't sort this lot out. <laughs> God, I should have known you'd be trouble. And I should have known that you would be totally ungrateful. Mm. 
Even Audrey Roberts with her limited repertoire would not have made me look this cheap. Cheap? Mm-hmm. I paid ten pounds for that nail polish. Well, must have seen you coming. Thank you very much. Out. Thank you. Bye. On your own head, be it. Mm, well... Put another wash on. Tap. Hey, I'll do that. You go and put your feet up for five minutes. I want to put my feet up. I want to do this. I just thought if you were feeling a bit... It's like you said, I'm overtired. Gemma. Why do you have to make everything into a drama? I'm not. I'm just worried about you. Well, oh, there's a first. Why don't you go and have a nap whilst I'm here? It'll make you feel better. How many more times? I'm fine. I don't need to feel better. OK, how about I make us a nice cup of tea, then? How about you be quiet? You what? You're doing me a in. OK. I know you're in this mood and you won't listen to me, and that's fine, but you need to talk to Chesney. Tell him what you told me. Whatever. I just want what's best for you. You and the kids. Yeah, well, they're my kids. I'll decide what's best for them, all right? Large donner, everything on it, extra chilli sauce. In for a penny. Look, didn't you have one of these at dinner time? That sounds very judgmental, if you don't mind me saying. But, mate, you can have one morning, noon and night for all I care. Do you know what's been known? Stag do 2005. Mm. It were mega, but those days are behind me. And I'd appreciate it if you didn't relay that story to Sally. Mum's the word. Actually, this is for Steve. He just lets me sniff it and breathe it in. Isn't that a bit weird? Who are we to judge? Thanks for the support there, Mary. Small sheesh and salad. Oh, yeah. Thanking you kindly. Good night and bon appetit. Good night. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's been non-stop in here. Q was out the door at one point. What can I get you, pal? Take it you've not been home then. No, I. Oh, I thought you'd gone part-time without asking. Ask who? You? Anyway, I've been two minutes. So it's not a case of while the cat's away then? And you're the pussy cat, are you? I don't think so. Your little smear campaign was all in vain, by the way. So what, everything's fine and you're still moving to Cyprus? We are. But we have decided... We have decided to delay our departure for a bit. Oh. But rest assured, we will go. And in the meantime, we have a restaurant to run, so... Chop, chop. Well, at least you're upright. What? What were you thinking, getting hammered when you had the babies? <sighs> Who told you, my mum? No, Craig. I mean, what if he reported it and social services got involved? You know what Fizz and Ty went through. Yeah, I know. They just kept giving me booze and then when you didn't turn up... Oh, I... right, so now it's my fault. I didn't say that. Look, Gemma, I have to work. I don't know what you want me to do. Well, never do I. I know I should have stopped drinking, but I just wanted to fit in. I want them to like me and be normal. Oh, Listen, the kids are fine. Yeah, they might not have been. Well, look, I know it's a massive responsibility. It's a massive responsibility times four. But we're the mum and dad. You know, they rely on us for everything. I know. It's like, from now on, I'm going to be totally on point, like super mum. I promise. I need to get back. <sighs> well, according to Claudia, I needed to be dragged into the 21st century. Drag being the appropriate word. <laughs> anyway, time she'd finished with me, I looked like an extra on Charlie's Angels. Luckily, I've been able to just, you know, Tone it down, sort of, sort of. No, well, I think you look lovely. Well, I think your hair is very nice. Mm. Look, are you sure you don't want a bit of company just till I get there? No, I d it, if 
if a woman can't sit in a bar and have a quiet drink on her own without people gawping at her like she's in a goldfish bowl? Go on, move. Mm -hmm. Evening. Evening. Two pints, please. On the house. And I'd, I'd just like to apologise. Oh, there's no need. Yeah, there is. I think I was just in shock, which is why I totally overreacted about the... Well, thank you. Right, well, I'll get the drinks. <sighs> So, is this, is this new, or what? A one-off. We think Evelyn's got a date. Yes. I think it's lovely. Well, that's because you're a romantic. No, guilty. <laughs> oh. Hiya. What are you having? You and your friends, it's fine. Oh, OK. Yeah. Hi. All right, can I, um, can I get you a drink? No, thanks. Um, how to find a Peter, please? Hmm? I'll be over there if that's okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring it over. You are not falling out, have you? No. <laughs> does, does she seem weird or...? No, she just wants to be on her own, I guess. Here are your menus. Thank you so much for waiting. I'll be back in five. I'm going to get you two more drinks in the house. Sorry for going keys again. Oh, can you believe him? What I can't believe is your grand's falling for more of his lives. Well, the good news is they're not moving to Cyprus just yet, which at least buys me more time. You know, the bad news is you're going to have to put up with him for longer. Mm. Right, I'm going to get back to the flat. I'll see you. Um, are you actually planning on helping? Sorry? Well, you've done nothing. I'm rushed off my feet in here. Well, I'd complain to someone if I were you. Oh, customers. <laughs> yes, I do hope so. Uh, I'd like to... like to make another appointment with Rachel. Well, if I'd known it was for her, I'd have sold you a cheaper one. Yes, my brother in what you're talking about. You be careful what you wish for. <laughs> anyway, have a good night. Thanks. Good night. Oh, we've all been there. Mind you, I remember standing this lad up once. I met him when I was pie-eyed in a pub and we'd arranged to go to the pictures. What, and you didn't turn up? No, I did. Well, let's just say I must have been very drunk the night before, so I just walked past, hoping he didn't recognise me. <laughs> that is so bad. I know. Oh, and an ear and all. Do you think I should go over? No, I don't. Not if you value your life. Poor Evelyn. You all right? Yeah, you? Let's not go there. Uh, same again? No, I'm next. Oh, sorry, I thought. You don't have to be rude. I'm not. It's stating a fact. I'm next. It was my fault. Yes, and I would have said so if you hadn't just jumped in like I was trying to steal your favourite toy. Are you calling me a kid? Are you just trying to get a I drink? can fight my own battles, thank you. Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. OK, so what can I get you? I'll have um, a bottle of lager and whatever she's having. Half a pint of pizza. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
If you missed our new sitcom starring Brenda Blethyn, you can catch up with Kate and Koji by heading over to ITV Hub now. But coming up next, we Friday night drama as our Angel of the North is reunited with her first ever sergeant on her next case in Vera. <laughs>